Hello everyone, I'm Rose from Korean class. Today, we are going to learn an enjoyable conversation. Headline is 재미있는 말놀이 재미있는 means enjoyable conversation, 말놀이 So, let's have a look. First sentence is 차로 끝나는 말은 Actually, we studied gray color words, letters, but we didn't study um, black colors letter. But I'm gonna say everything. So, mom saying 차로 끝나는 말은 That means, um, what is the end letter with 차? 차로 끝나는 말은 That means what is the and 끝나는 말 is and letter 끝나는 말 and letter with 차 차 Here's cha, you see that? Cha, 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 cha. So, so daughter answer is ki cha. We studied ki cha, train. And ma cha. Macha is horse, drum, carriage. Okay. Macha, horse, drum, carriage. Kita is train. We studied, and you, wo, ta. Also, we learned you mota. This is baby carriage. Okay. Rich. Baby carriage, you mota. And beard is B and O, O, Po. Real is L and E is I. Cha, Porita, Porita means ballet tea. You see that ballet tea and Ian is no sound, and you, so this is just you, and Jid is J, and R is A. Ta, chiut, C H, and A is A. This is this word is yuzata. Yuzata is citrus tea. Citrus tea. So, taro kunanen maren, kita mata yumota purita yuzata. But actually, here's ta is um, that was is moving something, moving stuff, right? Train, horse drawn carriage, and baby carriage. But here's ta is drinking tea, porita yuzata, ballet tea and citrus tea. It's quite. Different, so I, I told you guys, cha, cha, means two words. Number one is car in Korean. Number two is tea. Just cha is first means car and second means tea. 
So let's have a look. Second one. So mother saying, 곡식이 있는 가리 되면, 곡식이 있는 가리 되면, that means um, when the when the grains ripe in the autumn. So 가을 means autumn. And 곡식 means grain. 있는 is ripe. So that means when the grains ripe in the autumn. And daughter saying, 이은 is no sound. And 어 is E-O. 기억 is G and E is I, yin no sound, ya, so ya, chi is C H, a is A, so ya giota, chi is C H, u, so U, and chi S, u is so U, a giota, chu suru heyo. 어기어차 means just um, mimetic words, so it's not that means just moving. When we're moving, we can use mimetic words. 어기어차 추수를 해요. 추수 means harvest. Harvest. 를 해요 means do. So do harvest. And C H C H and O is O and G is G and A is A. 초가 지붕 아래 초가 means that's it. That's it. 지붕 means roof. 아래 means under. So that means under a thatched roof. Look at the pictures. This is thatched roof, right? And 빨간 기어. Oh, we studied here. 고추 is pepper. 빨간 means red. Red pepper also. 빨간 고추도 말려요. 말려요 means dry. So 빨간 고추도 말려요. Dry red peppers. So 곡식이 익는 가을이 되면 When the grain ripe in the autumn And 어기어차 추수를 해요. So do harvest. And 초가 지붕 아래에 Under a thatched roof, 빨간 고추도 말려요. Dry red peppers. Look at the pictures. Here's red pepper. Dry. It's dry. And look like autumn, right? So that's it for me today. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you later, guys.